who's taller? Just really. Just be honest with just us. Just be honest. I'm. I, I mean. I can see the top. I can of your see head. the top of your head. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rob. And I'm Abby. And today we got a question for you. You got two days in Stanley, Idaho. What do you do, Hotshot? And I'm sure people are wondering, what's even in Stanley, Idaho? Come with us on our journey, on our adventure, and we'll find out together. It's a day of discovery, mm. of learning. Yes. But really, most of all, it's a day of having fun. Woo, woo, woo. Basin and the moon coming at ya. Chicky, chicky! We just got to Stanley, Idaho. Uh, it's about three hours away from Boise, Idaho. And we had our first stop, which is a highly recommended first place to check out, especially when you get here in the morning. And it's called Stanley Baking Company. And everything is really delicious. Everything is super, super delicious. It's got a really cozy like cottage, like log cabin feel. They've got great gluten-free options, dairy-free options, vegetarian, non-vegetarian, non-vegan. You can get grass-fed beef. They've got lots of local products. They bake all their breads fresh in-house. And yeah, it's just, it's, it's a staple. It's a Stanley staple. Okay, we just finished breakfast. It was really, really good. This town is really beautiful. I mean, it's a little chilly. And when we came in, it was a little overcast. And now the sun's starting to, starting to come out and luckily we can get a view of the mountains, which is really spectacular. Um, but we're just getting started on our day. So we're now headed to a very special place I'm really excited about. So here we are, we made it to our destination number two. We're here at Idaho Rocky Mountain Ranch. It is a beautiful place. It's located in Stanley, Idaho, just about 15 minutes from where we were eating breakfast earlier today. And the place has been here since 1929. It's so beautiful so far. There's tons of activities to do. Hiking, biking, horseback riding, yoga. There's even a natural hot spring here. You name it, they got it. It's a really beautiful space. And when you come and stay here, your rate includes all of your meals. So you don't have to worry about any of that. And also it has this really rustic, log cabin feel, it's really, really neat. And the main ranch house is like super authentic. I think the ranch house was built in 1930 and it is super cozy, working fireplaces in all of the cabins. Yeah, everything is like real, it has like a handcrafted quality to it. It's amazing. And the people are so friendly here. We're really excited to, to be here and uh, check out what it has to offer for our day. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tell me what's happening. Okay, super beautiful. So many things to do here. But we're actually going to go explore the area on horseback. I'm the Wrangler, yep. And will you tell us how cold it was this morning? Cold in a witch's tit in a brass bra doing push-ups in a thunderstorm. <laughs> Freezing cold. <laughs> That's perfect.
Dude, that horse ride was amazing. It was so cool. I've never been on a horse before. I was a little nervous. One horse was really acting up and my horse was pretty stubborn. <laughs> Her horse was following the acting up horse, and then my horse was following her horse. My horse was like trying to go inside a house a couple times. Yeah. I was like, you can't fit in there, man. Where are you, where are you going? But so that was such a great time. That was so much fun. Yeah. Ben was great. He definitely made us feel comfortable on the horses. But now that we did that, we're ready to kind of chill and mellow out a little bit. So we're going to be checking out. It's their pool, but it's a natural hot spring pool. So... We bought this waterproof case for Abby's phone and we haven't really used it yet. Ready? You gonna go underwater? Yeah. All right. Okay. One, two. <gasps> swimming in the hot springs it was great we just changed our clothes and now we're gonna go catch the sunset and maybe drink some wine while we catch the sunset and we're gonna eat some dinner which I am excited about and we're really excited to show you guys what we got planned for tomorrow yes in Stanley day two take two chilly out here it is <laughs> it's like in the 20s or something like that yeah but it's beautiful we slept really well last night i did not want to get out of bed this morning neither did i <laughs> breakfast was amazing they even packed us some to-go lunches for our next trip which is awesome yeah but now we're on to our next adventure which is redfish lake redfish lake yeah i'm cold me too put my nose in like this <laughs> We had to stop off and get chapstick and gloves because warm hands and smooth lips is what we're about, man. You know? Like the air is so fresh, everything's so green. And look at the view of the mountains behind me. It's the sawtooth, the saw teeth. You don't get that in LA. It's called Redfish Lake because there's a lot of salmon that live in it. It's like the entrance to the wilderness, which is really cool. I think we're gonna go on a hike later and we'll probably get into a little bit of the wilderness. We're on this hike. We don't know how far we're gonna go, but it's really pretty. Up and strip down. We're both we're matching. <laughs> He's always copying me. All right, we did it. We found this giant lake, and it's amazing. We're in the 
wilderness right now. We crossed into it about like half a mile ago. It's so quiet out here. Um, it's been less than two days. We've experienced so much in just a short amount of time. So yeah. definitely make this a destination on your list. Check it out. There are great places to stay in Stanley, like Idaho Rocky Mountain Ranch. There's also tons of camping, so you definitely can do that while you're here. If you're on a budget, there's definitely great places that have great facilities that are wonderful. You can check us out on our Instagram, by Sun and the Moon. And if you like this video, yeah, give us a thumbs up or leave us a comment with any ideas you have. Any advice, any recommendations, we'll take it. We're just happy to be a part of this community and we're so happy that you're watching. So thank you and I think I'm ready to head back. We got like two more hours of a hike back, so. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. By the way, bonus material. We are at Kirkham Hot Springs. It's located about an hour and 15 minutes outside of Stanley. So if you're heading back to Boise or anywhere else in this direction, highly recommend a stop. It's located right off the highway. It's popular here. There's people here, but it's popular for a good reason. Definitely recommend checking it out if you got the time. Yeah, it's hot. Bye. <laughs>